Hi, we are continuing with our electrophilic substitution reaction series and the next reaction is friedel craft alkylation. So this is a named reaction which was given after the name of Charles Friedel and James Kraft. So these two are the scientists which have contributed towards the development of uh, this particular reaction. So that is why this reaction is named after these uh, scientists. So it's a named reaction. The Friedel and the Kraft are the name of the two scientists which contributed in its development and it's a very impressive reaction. So let us see how it appears like. So in this reaction you are going to react benzene with alkyl halide. Alkyl halide means uh, one is going to be the alkyl part, the other part is going to be a halide like chloride. So for example, we can take methyl chloride, it's a very good example of alkyl halide. So if we react, react benzene with it under the presence of a Lewis acid, again we are using Lewis acid, for example aluminium trichloride, the, it gives us the product toluene. Toluene is nothing but methyl added to benzene is toluene. And the byproduct is SCL. So I hope the reaction is clear to you that the alkyl part of the alkyl halide is getting added to the benzene. So hydrogen is being replaced. So this reaction is electrophilic substitution. Okay. So in this reaction you can alkylate benzene with methyl, ethyl, propyl. So such uh, type of reactions are possible. So let us begin with the mechanism of the reaction. So the first step is going to be generation of electrophile. So how electrophile is generated? Let us see the Lewis acid. It uh, reacts with the alkyl halide. So the halo group of the alkyl halide donates its lone pair to the Lewis acid and uh, the complex forms where the chlorine of the alkyl halide gets the positive charge and the aluminium gets the negative charge followed this the carbon chlorine bond breaks such a way that the positive charge on the chlorine is neutralized by shifting it both of its electron to the chlorine and cs3 is broken with a positive charge so you can see methyl carbocation has been formed and it is going to act as an electrophile the other species which is formed is AlCl4 negative. Now in the second step the benzene is going to attack on the electrophile. So this is going to be a slow step. Again the resonance stabilized carbocation structures can be shown. And in the third step the chlorine of the AlCl4 is going to assist in the removal of hydrogen as a proton and the two electrons of this carbon hydrogen bond are going to enter the benzene ring and the aromaticity would be restored. So this is going to be a fast step and uh, the methyl has been added to the benzene. So this is how the toluene product formation has happened and the catalyst has been regenerated. So this was about the model reaction of friedel craft alkylation. This was the mechanism. Some points to discuss about this uh, friedel craft alkylation are the first point is instead of alkyl halide you can even use alcohol or alkene. So alcohol can be ROH. So instead of CS3CL you can also use CS3OH. This is what has been projected with this statement. And the Lewis acid can be used as BF3, ALCL3. You can even use an Arrhenius acid which is S3PO4. Okay. There are certain limitations of friedel craft alkylation. The two drawbacks are being discussed here. The first is carbocation rearrangement. So if you are doing methylation or ethylation that is fine but if you take higher alkyl halide such as propyl halide here there are three carbons and there is chloride so this is called n propyl chloride because chlorine is attached to the terminal carbon atom so this is called n propyl chloride the other form could be isopropyl chloride when the chlorine atom is attached to the central carbon that species would be called isopropyl chloride but at this point we are using n propyl chloride suppose this is the product that we want we want to uh, you know insert a n propyl group over here so this can be done in presence of lewis acid but you see the product that you are getting is isopropyl instead of getting n propyl instead of having the product as CS3, CS2, CS2, we are having CS3, CS, CS3. This is isopropyl group. So we are getting isopropyl benzene even when we have started from n-propyl chloride. The reason for uh, this change was the carbocation always try to rearrange itself. The carbocation always try to rearrange itself to the more stable carbocation. 
so suppose whenever a primary carbocation has been formed it can shift itself and the positive charge can be transferred to the central carbon and the hydrogen can be transferred to this carbon to give a secondary carbocation so similar thing was happened with this case in this case the carbocation would have formed with ch3 ch2 ch2 positive but that positive charge would have been transferred to the central carbon because the central carbon would generate a secondary carbocation and that is more stable as compared to the primary carbocation so the product that you are finally getting is isopropyl benzene actually get a mixture of it a mixture of n propyl benzene and the isopropyl benzene so it's a you know drawback kind of thing that you do not want a mixture in your product you want a pure product okay the second drawback is formation of poly substituted product this happens because suppose your benzene is undergoing methylation in the first place style benzene has been formed or you can also call it toline has been formed but the reaction won't stop here instead the toline would undergo a second round of friedel craft methylation in order to give di substituted products because the reactant itself can undergo one more round of methylation so the second methyl group can be introduced at second position or it can be introduced at the fourth position the reason for this thing is the methyl benzene or you can also call it toline again is more reactive for electrophilic substitution reaction as compared to benzene so benzene won't react with this uh, first of all toline will start to react with the other molecules of uh, this and di substituted products can form okay so a mixture of again multi alkylated products can form this is one another drawback uh, why only ortho and para substituted product no meta product is formed uh, we can discuss this thing in late sessions because this is again an important thing that we have to cover under this topic but don't worry we will discuss this thing in later part in detail no, not to worry about it the drawback that you have seen the second drawback can be avoided if you use an excess of aromatic compound suppose you use more amount of benzene and less amount of this alkyl chloride then this problem of multi alkylated product can be formed because the reaction would have more and more amount of benzene so every group it would encounter would be a benzene molecule the more chances are there so this can be solved if you use this in excess so this was all about it we have discussed friedel craft alkylation we have discussed the model reaction we have discussed the mechanism and we have discussed the limitations so that is it for friedel craft alkylation in the next session we are going to cover the final electrophilic substitution reaction that is friedel craft acylation